Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing What Lies Beneath. It had been a year since Dr. Norman Spencer betrayed his beautiful wife, Claire, but with Claire oblivious to the truth, Norman's life and marriage seem so perfect that when Claire tells him of hearing mysterious voices and seeing a young woman's image in their home, he dismisses her terror as delusion. Claire moves closer to the truth and it becomes clear that this apparition will not be dismissed and has come back for Dr. Spencer and his beautiful wife. The room is extra purple today again, so I hope you guys don't mind it. It's just raining so much outside and I was trying to wait for it to get a little bit more sunny in here and that's my natural source of light so yeah we're just gonna have an extra purple room today but i hope you guys enjoy it because the halloween vibes are getting closer because there were only 10 days left and today unfortunately i do not have the best movie to review but i still wanted to review it i just want to first say that i don't want to take points off the movie for this because this is completely on the marketing but do not watch the trailer for this movie because i watched the trailer for the movie because i was trying to figure out what to watch and then i looked up the this movie on YouTube and it literally spoiled the entire movie. It will just give you the plot twist, pretty much everything that you might want to be surprised by. So I do not know who made the trailer, but they did not do a very good job. I just wanted to watch the movie because it has a good director, good actors, and then I saw the movie and I was like, oh. So this is what I decided to watch, okay. First off, I just wanna say, I'm so bummed that this movie was bad because I feel like it had the potential to be very, very good. First of all, like I said, it has a great director. It's a director that directed Back to the Future and I love Back to the Future and he's directed a bunch of other really awesome movies. But here, it's just like, there was no flair and I think that's why this movie is not that good because it's not memorable. Like I cannot tell you one shot in the movie where I was like, oh my God, this is extraordinary. And I feel like sometimes when movies are bad, I could still say, oh, they're very visually stunning or there's like something going for them with the shots and the cinematography. Nothing was really memorable here and that just really sucks. You also have great actors. You have Harrison Ford, Michelle Pfeiffer and they both do great performances. I mean they're great actors both of them and they don't really disappoint but there was like nothing for them to really do. I would say Michelle Pfeiffer had more to do in the movie. She was more of our lead and the one we were more focused on because she was going through a lot and I would say she did an awesome job and she gave an awesome performance but it just didn't help that the movie didn't work for me but I don't want to completely bash the movie because I want to say that I genuinely was intrigued and even like I said I pretty much got spoiled for the entire movie I understood the build-up and I thought that they did a pretty decent job with that I do think however that the pacing of the movie was not that good because I honestly kept pausing it and seeing how much was left and being like bummed out that there was so much left of the movie and I think when you do that in a movie it's not a very good sign because it's just very long. I would honestly say if you skip the first 30 minutes of this movie or you miss it for example like you go grab something and you take that long and you come back you have missed absolutely nothing because it literally does nothing. At the beginning their daughter goes off to college and like I don't care like I just I feel like that made no purpose it didn't develop anything at all and there's just a bunch of scenes like that here where I'm like what is the actual purpose of this and the plot itself is really good. I like the idea that an old ex is coming back to haunt them and what they do with that I would say is like honestly pretty interesting but things get very confusing. The middle act in my opinion where I was just very lost and confused and then they throw in the plot twist and I thought the plot twist was good. I can't tell you if I saw it coming or not because it got spoiled. So the whole time as I was watching it, I knew what was gonna happen, but I do think it's a good plot twist It honestly helped the movie if I'm going to be completely honest with you The thing that disappointed me the most was just how unoriginal this story is and the story itself I guess is original But like it just follows so many horror movie tropes that we've seen over and over and over again To the point where you can feel all the jump scares coming You can feel everything that's about to happen where the plot is gonna go I saw from a mile away that they're gonna think this woman's crazy this and that and like it's just it follows so many tropes and also something that this movie does is I feel like it has no idea what type of movie it's trying to be it just looks like three or four different people directed the movie like it wasn't the same director because there's just so many things that don't go together and like sure you can have a tone shift in movies I think those are sometimes needed but here it wasn't just a tone shift it was just like an everything switch and I just don't think they had a good flow for this movie whatsoever so yeah I clearly didn't like this movie I'm going to give this movie a D 
I don't think you guys should watch it. I'm just reviewing it because I saw it a month ago and I had a bunch of notes for it and I never was able to do a review for it because I just wanted to talk about it. And I mean, we're in the month of October and I'm doing horror movie reviews, so why not review it? I hope you guys enjoyed this video despite absolutely nobody asking for this, but here you go. I gave you this review. I would be very interested to see if any of you guys enjoyed this movie or what you thought about it if you're like me and you didn't really like it that much or if you actually like this movie because I would very much like to know. Thank you guys again so much for watching and as always make sure to like and comment on this video and if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel. I'm really close to 200 and it really means a lot you guys are subscribing and supporting my channel because I love talking movies with you guys. And before you go I just wanted to say that I have a second channel where I post art videos occasionally because if you didn't know I'm an artist and I posted a video today so if you like Halloween you might just like to give that a watch. Once again thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll make sure to see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys!